Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling. And man, I really appreciate you guys uh, coming by and watching the video and spending a little time with me today. Always appreciated. And man, I am finally upright. I was in bed all day yesterday with some type of a bug, man. It was like terrible. I, I didn't get out of bed most all day. And I finally got upright this morning a little bit to do the video, but still not all the way back, but getting better anyway with that. So guys, today we're gonna to be talking about the clown color jerkbait, which uh, hardly nobody fishes anymore. This is a jerkbait out here that is a freaking awesome color that you just don't hear anything about. And one of the reasons is because there's a real specific set of conditions that you have to have for the clown to work. But once you get those conditions, if you guys have these conditions that I'm gonna lay out, there's not a better color. It will rip them better than any other color that you can throw. So we're gonna get into that in today's video. And before we get started guys, just wanted to give everybody a big thank you to everybody that's been supporting the channel by using the links that I put in the description, um, by going to the description and checking those links out. If you use those, that's a really good way to give back to the channel and I'm much appreciated. So big thanks to everybody that's been doing that. Okay guys, I'll give you a little bit of history behind this clown color. Now, back when jerk baits first started out, back in the 70s and early 80s, you basically had two or three different colors. You had a blue back silver side jerk bait, you had a black back silver side jerk bait, and you had a black back gold side jerk bait. That was the only three colors that you had. That's the only ones that were available. And one of the first color options that came out in the 80s was this clown color here, which has sort of got this yellowish chartreuse back on it and a silver side. And um, this was one of the first uh, breakaways from that. And here's the one that I use, which is the Mega Bass Western Clown. This Western Clown by Mega Bass here, guys, is freaking awesome. Got a little bit of red on the head. And also I'll put uh, my Tackle Warehouse link in the description if you guys wanna pick one of these Western Clowns up. Um, after I tell you about this video, you probably wanna get one. But anyway, guys, I've used them since probably about 1983. I'm going to lay out the conditions for you about, about when these things work the best because um, I have, I've mixed them up with tons of different colors, and I've tried to get some type of a sampling on every single color pattern that works better. And here's what you have to have in order for this Western Clown to really work good. Number one, you have to have the right water clarity. And you would think that this color right here with the bright back on it like this would be a dirty water color, and it's not, guys. This is a clear water color. I have tried it in off-colored water, like down to those water visibilities around three foot or so, which is considered off-color for a jerk bait. Doesn't work that good. You need to have water visibility of a minimum of four foot. Um, four to eight foot clarity is what I consider ideal for that. It, there's that, that window is super, super critical. Um, per, if, you, if you gave me the perfect water clarity um, scenario, it would be five to six foot clarity, which is pretty common in a lot of the lakes in the wintertime. If you guys fish any type of highland impoundments, like Lake Lanier in Georgia, if you guys fish Eastern Tennessee, East, or the Western Tennessee and um, Eastern Kentucky lakes, Ozark lakes, California lakes, there's a lot of lakes that has that that are, that are in that window, that four to six foot uh, clarity, four to eight foot clarity throughout the winter time. So that number one, that's what you have. The second thing that you have to have on it is you've got to have some type of a lower light condition. So you need to have either a cloudy day, a rainy day, or a very heavy partly cloudy day. Where the partly cloudy type days where you have 80% sun and 20%, you know, or excuse me, 80% clouds and 20% sun. You've got to have low light sky conditions and combined with that, you've got to have wind and the wind needs to be in that 10 to 20 mile an hour zone. So when you've got, those are the three weather variables. And then the water temperature variable usually is anywhere between, you know, 40 to 52, 53 degrees. So if you've got that combination of 40 to 53 degree water temperature, um, 10, 15 mile an hour wind, I would consider perfect clouds, and fairly clear water. Guys, there's not a better color than this Western Clown right here. And another thing, you guys that fish grass lakes, like, like um, if you guys fish Sam Rayburn or some of the Texas lakes that have grass in it, um, Florida lakes that have grass in it, someplace like Lake Seminole in Georgia that has grass. If you've got grass and clear water during those conditions, guys, a clown will outproduce any other color out there. And here's the best thing about a clown. If you can get them to bite clown, some type of a clown color jerk bait, it will produce the biggest fish of any color of a jerk bait by far. I'm going to guess probably 
80% of the big bass I've caught over the past 40 years on crankbaits have come on a clown color. Now, I may not get a lot of bites on them, but it, it will catch the biggest bass that's down there. If, you, if you're, you know, fishing standing timber in a Texas lake or whatever out there, and you're catching three or four pounders or whatever on any other color jerk bait, if you can get them to bite a clown, the, the weight will almost two pounds bigger on there. It, it produces big fish on here. And another thing about it is like at Table Rock Lake, a, t a clown colored jerkbait has produced more giant bass on Table Rock Lake than any other color that I know about. I've got a buddy that this is the only thing he fishes down there and he still, even to this day, catches more abnormally large bass on Table Rock than any other, you know, bait out there. Now he has a lot of days that he doesn't catch, you know, nothing hardly on it, but he catches more seven pound class bass, which is extremely rare on Table Rock anymore, very rare. A seven pound bass at Table Rock anymore, guys, is like catching a 15 pounder down in Florida. There's not many of them in there, but he catches his share on it on the clown. So anyway, guys, give it a try. Um, if you guys have, have not tried it, which most people, I never see anyone throwing them anymore, get you a few of them. Like I said, I'll put that tackle warehouse uh, link in the description. This is called the Mega Bass Western Clown Color. Um, it'll get you some big bites. So hope it helps out. We'll see you guys later.